We are back in Temecula, California, getting ready for the next matchup. Skender Halili, super welterweight. They're going to go four rounds scheduled. Halili, 10 and 0, excuse me, 10 and 1 with 10 KOs. So when he wins, he knocks somebody out. But he's against a guy who's been in the ring forever. Ben Odomate, a record of 16, 14, 3 and 0 by way of Ghana. He now lives in Silver Spring, Maryland. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the co feature of the evening from Pachanga Resort Casino. Join me in welcoming into the squared circle, fighting out of the blue corner from Accra, Ghana, now living, training, and fighting out of Silver Spring, Maryland, Ben the Miracle Odomati. And Alan, you talk about how long he's been around. <laughs> he made his pro debut in 1998, guys. Let's keep this in perspective. That is halfway through the second oh, presidential right. term of Bill Clinton, not <laughs> Hillary. <laughs> 18 years. In those 18 years, he's only been knocked out five times. He's fought all over the world. So you know, he's accustomed. Okay, 16-14. You got to admit it, Patrick. He's been accustomed to being cannon fodder, but he, he, he seems confident because he knows what he's doing in there. Well, you know, he is very experienced, and Skender has flaws that need to be improved in this fight, and this type of veteran is going to try to expose those flaws if Skender has not improved. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, originally from the Bronx, New York, no surrender, Skender Halili! As he comes through the mist, you saw at the top of the show, that second round against Jason Thompson that Steve Kim was talking about it happened up in Niagara Falls. Uh, his trainer, Jason Stout, was kind of glad he could laugh about it, but Jason wasn't too happy. Well, you want to talk about a Bronx tale. Jason Stroud said there's something that every trainer really says about action-packed fights. He says they're great for you guys, they're terrible for us. And tonight, he'd like to see his fighter get back to the P's and Q's of fundamental boxing, and also, very simply, get hit less. Well, you know, he's not supposed to have a gaudy ward style of fight when you're a young prospect at the sixth round level. You're supposed to be mowing these type of guys down and not getting knocked down. So let's see if he can improve in this fight and not get hit so much. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's bout will be a thriller as the action continues from Pachanga Resort Casino for CBS Sports Spectacular Fight Night here in beautiful Temecula. Our co-featured bout of the evening is scheduled four rounds of super welterweight division. It's brought to you by Greg Cohen Promotions in association with Ringside Ticket and David Schuster's Winner Take All Productions. It's presented by the International Championship Boxing League. This bout is sponsored by Settlement Systems, ASG Pest Control, APLS Group, and Body Armor USA. Your judges for this bout are Pat Russell, Max DeLuca, and Tony Grebs. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, referee Ray Corona. Introducing first. He's fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 153.2 pounds. His record, 16 wins, 14 losses, three draws, and nine wins coming by way of knockout. He is wearing red, gold, and green, the colors of Ghana. Originally from Accra, Ghana, now fighting, training out of Silver Spring, Maryland. Please welcome Ben the Miracle Odomate. Across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, also weighed in at 153.2. His professional record, 10 wins, one loss. All of his victories come via knockout. Wearing black and white from the Bronx, New York. No surrender, Skinder Halili. We'll be awaiting final instructions from uh, Ray Corona here coming up. It's going to be an interesting fight, I think, because uh, here he goes. Here comes Ray. Right. So right here is good. Right here is good. So it's good. It's like 
Right. Okay, Steve, let's take a look at the matchup. And here is the tail of the table. We talked about it before. Ben Odomate, 36 years old, which means 18 years as a pro, over half his life has been as a professional boxer. And the rules here in California, always important each state we travel to, to take a look at what rules they'll be operating under. I think we have them. <laughs> We know them. <laughs> when maybe it's no hold bars fighting. Well, there we go. Ten point must system is in effect. Mandatory eight count after a knockdown. The boxer can only be saved by the bell in the final round. In case of injury, the fight goes to scorecards. Following the start of the fourth round. Let's take a look at it now and get right up to the bell and get going. Scheduled for middleweight division. Halili's in the black trunks. Otto Mateis in the colors of Ghana. You know, Skender's trainer, Jason Stroud, said that they worked on his jab, head movement. He's not going to be stationary, and he's not going to be able to get hit by those overhand rights and uppercuts, which knocked him down on his last fight by a very light-hitting Jason Thompson. Let's see if those improvements and are Patrick, put into place. Right off the bat, you could see him trying to set a real hard jab from a distance. And just looking at the statures of both men, it should be very difficult for Odomate to actually really touch Halili with a right hand because if he's right there at this distance, oh, this is a right, he right hand. Already. Yeah, he already heard it. This isn't going to last long if this keeps up. But a Matei holding on and down he goes. And the count starts and he jumps right back up at the count of one. He's hurt. And you know, he is dry as a bone for an experienced fighter like him. It doesn't look like he was warmed up very well, but it may not matter one or the other. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. Skender comes right back. Right hand, left, right. Cock. He's this got him wobbling over. again. It's over. Ray Corona's going to wave it off. I don't have the exact time, but it didn't last very long, to say the least. Skender Halili. Well, all the things we talked about about him learning a little bit, there was not a chance tonight to, to show any of it because his, his power came out immediately, and then... That was that. Too big, too strong, too young, and quite frankly, Odomate, his nickname is the Miracle, and to paraphrase Al Michaels, I didn't believe in miracles tonight. I don't think he had much of a shot. Uh, I don't know what Halili really gets out of this particular performance, but at the very beginning, he did try to set a long jab and control yeah. the airspace. Uh, I would like to see more. He's a fun fighter. I think he's going to be in a lot of good fights. How far he goes, Patrick, in my opinion, is going to be determined by can he master some of the basic fundamentals. He'll never be slick. He'll never be elusive, but can he be sound fundamentally? And that's exa exactly right. He needs to be sound fundamentally. That's his flaw in his game. We know he can punch. That's a God-given thing. He was born a puncher, but can he become a little bit of a boxer? And we really didn't get to mention this, because quite frankly, this fight ended so quickly. But we have to note, Aldamate was faced the likes of Hank Lundy and Ricky Burns. Really made his pro debut in 1998 as a featherweight. And you're looking at Skander Halili, who's a big, raw bone 54-pounder. You got the sense, as soon as he touched him, and he touched him early, he was not going to be able to catch very well, and that is certainly what happened tonight. Let's take a look at it, fellas, at what happened in this very, very brief fight in the super welterweight division. Well, here you see Skender about a volley of punches, a right and a left, and this fight was over immediately. Just a flurry of punches, nothing real hard and clean necessarily. We'll be right back after this as we had a quick one right there. <laughs> Skender Halili taking care of business quickly tonight against Ben Odomate. Referee stops it because it was going to stay south <laughs> for Odomate at that Ladies point. Ladies and gentlemen, in one minute and 17 seconds of round number one, referee Ray Corona stops the fight. The winner from the Bronx, New York, no surrender, Skender Halili. First round, 117, that just about says it all, but... What's on his mind now? We'll have to find out from Steve Kim, because I've got a feeling he's going to be right back in the ring soon, if he can. Odomate making his way out. 
All right, we're here with Skender Halili. Skender, short night, nothing like the last time. Wasn't nearly as exciting, at least for us fans. Did you think it would be over that quick? Uh, first of all, sorry, but I want to thank my sponsor, ASG Pest Control. I want to thank my Body Armor USA and APLS. Thank you. Uh, uh, systems also. Thank you. Like NASCAR over here. Okay, Skender, let's take a look at the fight. Uh, did you think it would be over that quickly? You know what? I didn't think so. I was prepared to go the distance. They shortened it up to a four-rounder, so I knew I could throw bombs all day. From the first punch you landed, do you think he felt your power? Oh, I know he felt my power. Yeah, and then that's why he started backing up. In other fights, he usually just comes forward. Always comes forward, but this time he was taking a step back. All right, let's talk to your trainer, Jason Strout. Jason, I know you're working on the basic fundamentals. Early on, he did try to set the jab. Were you happy with what he showed at least the first 15, 20 seconds in laying a foundation with his height? Yeah, I was definitely pleased with what he was working on. Um, he had a perfect guy to, to, to execute his game plan. He wanted to work behind the jab, use his height and his distance, because if he can get the full extension of his punches and that, that full range, I mean, he's got power. So if he can find that range to use it, he's going he's gonna to be even more dangerous. Okay, Skender Halili improves the 11 and 0. First round knockout tonight. Alan, back to you. Thank you, Steve. Good job as always. Congratulations to Skender. And as you saw, Skender Halili takes home the victory tonight. But as we talked about throughout the night,